Hi, I'm Julia McDowell, marketing and advertising strategist with Five Ones. Thanks for watching the High Five Nonprofit Marketing Ideas. This is the very first video in a series I'll be doing for my LinkedIn page, and I hope you like it. I'm not sure I ever wanted to be a vlogger, but I think watching a video is sometimes easier than reading a blog post. And you get to see me from time to time. Today's topic is pretty high level, but if you know me, that won't come as a great surprise. I promise the rest of the videos will be much more tactical, so you can watch, leave, and go do. With that said, today I'd like to flesh out five essentials for building a standout nonprofit brand. We all love a good tchotchke, but as you know, branding takes way more than putting a logo on free pens. Your brand is what people think of your organization, its character, and its efforts. It just doesn't happen in the doing. You need to be intentional about it. Dare I say strategic. Done well, branding is valuable to all nonprofits, regardless of your size or mission. A standout nonprofit brand is a multiplier. It generates more awareness of your organization, more people who understand your cause and efforts, and potentially more love or affinity, which leads to more funding and other support. So here are my high five. First, your brand mission and vision set the tone for everything you do. A mission statement is how you're gonna fulfill your vision. It's your present reality. Write one sentence, two short sentences max, and share it. Here are some great examples that capture the mission of these organizations succinctly. First is First Descents. They provide life-changing outdoor adventures for young adults impacted by cancer and other serious health conditions. Next is Dress for Success. They empower men, women to achieve economic independence by providing a network of support, professional attire, and the development tools to help women thrive in work and in life. And last but not least, the Lost Dog Cat and Rescue Foundation. They help homeless pets find their way into loving homes through rescue and adoption. See, these give both understanding and inspiration quickly. Second is your audience. You need to know exactly who you're talking to. While many nonprofits don't have budget for research, you can try a lot of things. Interviews or focus groups, even if they're with your usual engagers, surveys, use data from Google Analytics or your social media, call through existing research on audience groups or preferences. Third is leadership. This starts with creating a spotlight for your leaders. If your CEO, chairperson, or donor is well known, showcase them on your website, in e-news updates, maybe even their own, or social platforms, in media pitches. Their recognition boosts your nonprofit's credibility. If they are not well known, it's your job as a marketer to raise their profile. Here are some ideas. They could speak at nonprofit events. You could submit op-eds for publication under their name, that you could ask them to create content for your website and blog, or encourage them to be active on social media so they can drive conversations about nonprofits, your cause, and how current events impact the people you serve. You can also position your nonprofit as unique from similar ones. Do you have a prestigious funding source or received an industry distinction? Promote it like you would a person. It will create a halo effect. And last, being a leader is often about being first. For example, giving catalogs weren't always a thing. Heifer International Project was first, and boy, did they set a precedence. Fourth is brand guidelines. Let's save the deep dive for another episode of the High Five, but here is the nutshell version. By creating guidelines that are clear and easily understood, you give no one an option not to follow them. Proactively share guidelines across your nonprofit with external agencies, partners, and vendors, and this will help create consistent visual identity, key messages, and a voice that will help solidify your brand narrative over time. To help keep this consistent, I suggest you create a brand school or a series of webinars where you go over the rules and show examples of executions, or a brand council that approves all brand elements. Sure, this requires your staff to get things done far in advance so the council has time to review, but I've seen this implemented and it makes all the difference. Last but not least, storytelling. Stories eat um, steal data's lunch every day. They convey your nonprofit's brand efforts and impact that a way that data can't alone. 
Make sure your stories persuade. They help your audience understand the challenges of your members or your beneficiaries and why your cause is worth supporting. They prove numbers may lie, but stories never do. Authentic stories support your brand's credibility and evangelize. Well-told stories make your brand relatable to people. They resonate with existing supporters and help recruit new ones to your cause. I am a complete inverted pyramid evangelist. When you go to tell stories, it's important to put the information the reader must know up front, the helpful or supportive part of the story in the middle, and leave the nice stuff for the end. If you're interested in tips on how to create engaging stories, it's your lucky day. You can download my storytelling roadmap at fiveones.com slash roadmap. Thanks again for watching the high five nonprofit marketing ideas. If you need help creating a standout brand, or you've had, if you have an idea for a future episode of the high five, please let me know. Leave a comment below, message me on LinkedIn, or email julia at fiveones.com. Thanks again and see you next time.